by Judy from Rich Peace Craft. Welcome. Today is January the 29th and I thought I would do my crafting life wrap up for the month. I don't have a lot to share with you but what I have is quite interesting. So let's get started. First of all I got some happy mail, very late Christmas mail. I got a card Christmas card from Ella at No Catchy Name. Inside was a little um, yarn ball sticker which I put on my notebook. And yes, this arrived. She posted this on December the 12th and it has finally arrived down under. Um, Christmas mail was slow but we've had flooding throughout the country and it's obviously taken its time to get here. But it got here and I really appreciate it. So thank you Ella. Um, it was lovely to receive and nice of you to think of me. This week also I had a surprise gift of kindness come in by email and my Ravelry account. Um, Karen, a lovely Yanni friend and subscriber from Adelaide in Australia. I'll just put that over there. I don't know where to put things. She gifted me a pattern of a shawl that was in my wish list. It is called easy peasy posy shawl originally designed by crochet fix the pictures aren't very big but i hope you can see that that's it there um there are 18 nine double-sided pages to this there are instructions and there are also stitch graphs on the back if you prefer those now i am still sore in the ribs and i waited for ribs to help me go through my yarn stock because I'm thinking I have some yarn that will suit this and um, yarn any ply fiber suitable also refer to pattern tips now I thought it would look nice in a really fine drapey yarn and I really remembered I had this yarn that I bought absolutely years ago at least five years ago in London from Loop at London and I thought I'd at least have one, if not both of them. And yes, he did go rummaging in my stash because when I bend over, my ribs hurt too much. He found it in one of the bottom drawers. Um, I think it was in number four. And he found Schwepsky's Will. This one. Yes, I do have two of them. So this is... Colour 575, Strawberries and Scream, not Cream, Scream. And there are no, more than enough metres in this for the short pattern. There are 1,000 metres. So let me take it out yet. That's the colourway there. And I thought it would be perfect for this shawl, this one here. Um, I was going to start it but I'm not getting much crafting done with sore ribs and I have quite a few whips on the go. So what I thought I would do is put it in a project bag and number it and put it in the gift of kindness basket and put it on the wheel. And then when it spins up, that's when I will make it with this yarn. So thank you, Karen. I really appreciate it. It would take my mind off all this rain. We're still getting lots of rain. Not much flooding, but it does make me anxious. So, and it is greatly appreciated that you thought of me. Really nice. Um, it was a nice surprise. So the other thing is, I showed you on Australia Day, I was making, um, sorry, just adjust my top a bit. Sticking into me. I was making a um, platypus. An Australiana animal instead of a kangaroo or koala I decided to make a platypus he was almost finished I just had to put his feet on or his legs on and I have finished Percy the platypus so there you go I finished his eyes there's not a lot of detail to him which is fine by me and his little legs and feet they were the hardest things for me to make but it was good experience um, I have something else that's got fingers that I want to make. And I think he turned out great. He's pretty cute. I probably will put him for sale on my next charity market stall. But that is Percy the Platypus finished. He was in my crochet book, Cuddly Crochet Animals, that Janice sent me as a gift, which is really nice. 
And yeah, I have to look through and see if there's something else. I've made the blue whale and I've made the platypus. They're really easy amigurumi patterns if you're a beginner or you want to get started. There's some, the blue whale is so simple, um, a new beginner could do it. So that is Percy finished. And the other thing I've been doing during January besides everything else I've shown you, when I've made something, if I have some scraps left over, I've been trying to come up with a little project and doing scrap yarn projects. Um, and I am keeping a tally on all the yarn I use out of my stash to see how much of my yarn stock I use. So first of all, some scraps from a project I am on the go is I made a little colourful faded knitted tea cosy from my little pattern. It's eight ply, two eight ply held together so it's quite thick and it's a one teacup pot tea cosy quite bright and yes I just kept colour fading things in and this was left over from the lovey I made and the um, mandala yarn so I would hold two to get two together like green and yellow and just kept using up the scrap leftovers rather than put them in my scrap bin so that was one thing I did I made the little crochet turtle that I showed you before, Thomas the turtle, and there were some scraps left over from that. So I used a smaller hook and I made another little turtle, quite small actually. This was this tiny Tim, but I did use the pattern. I just used a much smaller hook to use less yarn. And yes, I have tiny Tim the turtle. He's a little scrap yarn project. This one is not quite finished. I need to finish off his muzzle, put a bit of feature on it. I have made him before. It was quite popular when I sell him on my charity stall, so I may make some more. This is Buddy Bear 2.0, I think it is, by Craft Crafter. Oh. Look, the link to him will be in the description below. There is a few to, there is a free tutorial for him and pattern for him. So I gave him pants and a jumper and a little orange scarf. I had real dramas with his eyes trying to get him right and that's why I've just got to put some sort of feature on his muzzle. But that is the buddy bear. And um, I've been tossing up to whether to make a female buddy bear. But yeah, he's pretty cute. And this was brown leftover from the Bag O'Day bod had a palooza. And just a bit of mustardy colour I had in my stash and a bit of orange in my scrap stash. But yeah, this is all four weight yarn. Whereas this one was two three weights held together. And this was just three weight or eight ply, depending on what you want to call it. I get confused. I should just stick to one level. But guys, that's all I have for you for the end of January. I'm doing it on the 29th because I've got to get a video together and information together for my make along Shutterbug AU. Don't forget you've got to post your pictures either on the Facebook group page or with Instagram with the hashtag Shutterbug AU or you can email them to me to be in the participant prize, prize draw for January and maintain a position for the end of the six months make along for the major prize draw. Remember I'm giving away a $25 gift voucher or something like that depending on what you want and it's open worldwide. So make sure you come back on the 1st of February when I launch the next photo, tell you about that and pick the January participant prize draw winner. So until next time, stay safe, stay well and make sure you have a crafty day. Try something new like I have. I'm getting bigger amigurumis and little amigurumis going. I'm really getting into it. Bye for now.